Welcome. Let's take a look at one more short problem related to standard costing and variances. Records of Rhino Inc. show direct labor costs for the month of March as follows. Standard direct labor hours, 42,000. Actual direct labor hours, 40,000. Direct labor rate variance, unfavorable, 8,400. Standard direct labor rate per hour, $10.30. And the question is, what was Rhino's total actual direct labor cost for the month of March? Now you can see from this one, this is not a comprehensive labor variance problem. We're actually given one of the variances and we're asked to compute the total labor cost. So this may look a little confusing at first, but what you want to do is think about, well, how do you compute actual labor cost? And actual labor cost, of course, would be the actual direct labor hours times the actual direct labor rate. And when you look at what's given, you see that we know that there were 40,000 actual direct labor hours, but we do not know the actual labor rate. So that's what we need to solve for to answer this question, is what is the actual labor rate? Well, given that we know the labor rate variance, and the actual direct labor rate is part of that formula, we'll be able to use that information to solve. All right, let me remind you that the direct labor rate variance is the standard labor rate minus the actual labor rate times the actual quantity of labor hours. So we know the standard direct labor rate is given to be $10.30 per hour. But we don't know the actual labor rate. That's in fact what we're trying to solve for. We know the actual quantity of labor hours was 40,000. And we know the labor rate variance was 8,400 unfavorable. Now make a special note that by the way we have plugged in to this formula, the unfavorable variance would be a negative number because we know the actual labor rate is higher than $10.30. So you've got to make sure that algebraically you put that unfavorable variance in as a negative number if you plug in to the formulas this way. A favorable variance would be a positive number. Now I'm going to solve this algebraically just by dividing both sides of the equal sign by 40,000. If you do that, you get $10.30 minus the actual rate. And that is equal to negative 21 cents. Again, I just divided both sides by 40,000. There would be other ways to actually work that algebraically if you prefer. So negative actual rate is equal to negative $10.51 when I move the $10.30 to the other side of the equation. Convert both sides to a positive number and we find that the actual rate is $10.51. So we have solved for the actual direct labor rate. Now of course that's not what the question asked us to compute. It asked us to compute the actual direct labor cost. We were given that 40,000 hours were actually worked. And we've computed that the actual direct labor rate was $10.51. So when we do our math, we find that the actual direct labor cost is $420,400. All right, so that concludes this problem, and it was a short problem, but what you want to see is that sometimes you will have to use some problem solving to answer the question. Um, depending on how you plug in a variance that's given, unfavorable variances could be a negative number, and favorable variances a positive number, and you would have to make sure you're careful with your math. All right, again, work some problems, and I will see you in class.